News Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Nick Summer with your midday Arklamis update. Ruston residents voted to expand alcohol sales in the city, passing all five propositions that were on the ballot this past election. NBC 10 Sydney Lane has more. When the early voting came in, that's always a good indicator of, of you know, how things are going to go. I was really kind of surprised, um, mostly at the bars, because uh, if there was one out of the five I thought would fail, it would be bars. But as you know, more boxes came in and the trend just continued, we realized that it was they were all five going to pass. Mayor Walker explained what the passing of all five propositions means for the city. It means that our restaurants that are here will remain. They won't have to, to, to stop selling alcohol within the, their restaurants. But with four passing so that rest, uh, supermarkets can now sell alcohol, that means a tax increase as far as what's coming into the city, but not just the city, it's the school board, the police jury, and the sheriff. Mayor Walker went over what the next steps are now that the election is over. This coming Monday night, it's our city council meeting, our April uh, meeting, we will actually present some ordinances that will deal with the actual paperwork that's necessary, the logistics of getting somebody ready to sell in a grocery store. Uh, also the bars. So those will do that in April and May. People are asking me, you know, how long is it going to take before they will be able to sell? We, we're not putting a timeline on it because uh, we have to do things right through the state and everything else. So I'm saying that hopefully in June we'll be ready. Well, there's now a 10th civil rights trail marker in Louisiana. It was unveiled at the historic Crest Department store on 3rd Street in downtown Baton Rouge. The marker represents 16 Southern University students who were arrested after sitting at the Crest lunch counter. That ignited protests and calls for a change in the black community. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser says it's important to honor these moments in history. Download those videos that we showed in there to tell the story of what happened here in 1960 and the bravery of those young men that sat on that counter uh, and, and, and made change. And as we had these markers all over Louisiana, to see these incredible heroes of that era and what they did. Future markers are being planned for later in the summer and fall. You can also nominate areas at louisianacivilrightstrail.com. Well, Arkansas residents could see less in taxes if a bill filed in the legislature becomes law. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders announced the legislation on Thursday. It pa if passed, it will be a $124 million tax cut. The top state income tax rate will drop from 4.9% to 4.7% this calendar year. The governor announcing that will account for $100 million. The state corporate tax rate would also drop from 5.3% to 5.1%. That's $24 million for corporate income tax cuts. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonneson. Showers and storms will arrive this afternoon with the heaviest of showers and storms being further to our north. And with that, the severe concern also mirrors that pattern, meaning the largest areas of severe concern. Further to our north, however, doesn't mean that we won't see our own severe potential here in the Arklamas. Taking a look at your highs today into the mid 80s with those severe storms, certainly a possibility for the afternoon hours. Into this evening, clouds keep us decently warm into the low 60s. Few of those showers and storms may linger into the late evening and maybe even into tomorrow morning, but not as likely. Severe weather outlook also mirroring that pattern, showing the heavier chance for severe weather. And the most concerning severe weather opportunity up to our north and areas to our north and a few areas of southern Arkansas in a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk, but the rest of southern Arkansas included with north central Louisiana in that level 2 risk. That's for today. We clear out into the late hours. We should, unless those showers or storms linger into your Saturday morning. Saturday should be a little bit of fresh air, but on into next week, quite a bit of unsettled atmosphere and a lot of instability in the area as we see lots of showers and storms. Most of the week's going to be under the gun for some storm development. However, not nearly as uh, widespread as some of the events we've seen, but Tuesday also looks concerning. To stay on top of every news story in the Arklamis, make sure you download the NBC10 News app. All you have to do is search KTVE in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues.